So first we just fill in uh, regular uh, information description and the uh, title and product base price and this image go to Shopify side in the admin panel. Basic everything can be changed later through Shopify admin. What will be the base price of the product? Okay, we've got the base product. Now we uh, have to add the image again. So here, uh, steps is something that is also can be looked at as tabs and then custom options can be looked at as a collection of uh, similar choices. Uh, the app is very flexible and can be set up almost in an unlimited number of ways. I'll just try some general setup for you and then we'll see if it needs adjustment. Um, the, we don't have to give the title for the step. I think, um, however, what we can do is we can get started right away with creating first custom option and we'll call it select charm. We don't need to add any HTML class. This is for development unless it's uh, for styling purposes and you know what you're doing. Custom option description would be just um, uh, the title of the option altogether, for example, select uh, it. And then what it will be is it'll be a single choice and then it will be an image thumbnail. And uh, that's it. And we need to give choices. Um, choices. Um, actually, since we have a chain, I just realized that probably first, instead of charm, we'll put chains, select chain, and then select chain. And then this would be chain one. And we'll upload an image for the front. So the first one. And then for the thumbnail, can go the same image or it can be adjusted then new choice uh, image two and then thumbnail chain two and prices can be changed based on the chain as well so like in this example if they were two different like lengths this is where we could say this length is 58, this length is 48 or whatever. Okay, so length uh, 48 and then price 48 and then length 58, price 58. Uh, now, a lot of advanced settings over here. You don't need it un until you start questioning if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, save custom options. Add new custom option. This would be charm now. And then select the charm. And it will be single choice image thumbnail and uh, We'll let me just download the charm, couple of charms. So we need them preferably. Actually, uh, sorry, that, yeah, I think if yeah, you charms, charms to scale, to scale. PNG. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And then uh, we can download them. Uh, couple of charms here. And then will you download one that's small? You're in the medium, yeah, or- It's open. okay, it's enough. Or micro. Um, so we'll put um, one image 
so main image and then thumbnail image and then add new choice and new choice so it's oh data entry part uh three And if we wanted um, charm one and two to be called premium charms and charm three to be called something else, how how do you do an extra layer or um, header? You'd have to go out of here and then create it on the previous level, calling these, for example, premium charge charms. Okay. And then the other ones. Okay, very good. So save custom options. All right, we have chain um, under layers. We can do oh, so many options. Hide background. So steps chain charms. Bum bum bum. So doesn't look good now, but next step is the magic piece. We go to layers we think custom layer so here we go yeah so this is one for example position number one and then what we can do is position one and then um associate a step to select don't need to select anything for now so settings image source display image from display front views from image thumbnail options got it step this is where carolyn we decide that our front view would be the actual size and the thumbnail would be the uniform size premium chains here select chain custom option chain. and then a few features make layer always visible layer hover effect for example this one and then let's see so we got a fill in this field uh here we go and then no okay so it just needs some default image pretty much. And then actually you can also zoom it in, in this case. Oh. How did you get to that? So you went there through settings. Um, yeah, so we have steps and layers. Steps is for creating um, like selectable options. And then the left side is gather, govern, governed by layers where you can add the custom layers with different functionality. In this case, the functionality is called image area interactive gallery which means that we can um, feed into this area images from some source, which can be either an image upload field or a view, a front view from the image thumbnail custom option uh, that we created with you. The part of interactivity. So here you, for the steps, what happens is you call this, for example, position number one save step and then this is the first tab and then position two and then save step and then what we can do is we will duplicate to panel two oops duplicate to panel 
two. And then you've got position one, position two, right? And then under layers, position one, step to select position one, apply. And then layer two, step to select position two, apply. Now, when we do the preview mode, here is what happens. We can choose. So, the, I mean, this can be unselect. Chain, and then first from here but then i can also hover and if i click here the next tab will be selected right got it but then in that case we wouldn't need we wouldn't need to display premium charms and premium charms copy that's what i don't want to display there uh yes you can do just premium charms or whatever you want yeah. okay got it so this yeah this can go wouldn't away. have to be displayed all right and then this also can go away and then under layers we'll just need to make sure that the sources are separate so this is step one position one and then premium char charms and then layer two settings image source position two premium charms from and position two one more question since obviously on this you can't see any of the positions um until you do that is there a way and i think i saw it that you would be able to um change the background color of the position so that someone knew they could like click there and go to it yeah, that's hover effect. Okay, I see the hover effect. But instead of just a hover effect, would there be a way to do it where it's defaulted to that? Uh, let's see. Position one, uh, settings, user interaction effects, make layer the default always. Default layer color. Default layer color. Active layer color. It's probably when it's over and the layer always visible. Let's see if it helps. I'm not sure. Got it. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I see. Okay. Very good. And then let's see if we can choose. Oh. Got it. And then once you've done that. Okay. Very good. That makes sense.